Pierce. I'm Dr. Shannon Pierce, the Wellness Way affiliate in Lexington, Kentucky, and the author of The Thyroid, The Wellness Way Approach to Thyroid book. So today, what I'm gonna be teaching you is exactly the same way I teach our doctors all over the country to look at and to manage thyroid with their patients. So we're actually gonna take the next four series of quick tips to teach you what I call the four questions you need to ask about your thyroid function. So a lot of people, when they get diagnosed with a thyroid condition, um, they're given one answer. And that answer is to be put on medication to help you make more T4 thyroid hormone, right? Now that is just one very small piece of the thyroid puzzle. So what I'm going to teach you today and over the next four weeks is why maybe you're on the medication, but you still don't feel good, why you're still cold, why you still have mood issues, why you can't lose the weight, even though you've been put on something like levothyroxine or Synthroid or maybe even something more natural like Armour Thyroid or Nature Thyroid. Um, all of those things are only looking at one very small piece of that thyroid puzzle. So I'm gonna teach you the four questions you need to ask about your thyroid function. Very first thing, thyroid. I don't think a lot of people know where their thyroid is and what it's really supposed to do. So your thyroid, this is exactly how you find it. You're gonna to touch the tip of your chin with your finger, you're gonna follow it down until you feel a first hard bump, then you're gonna feel down a little more and you're gonna feel a second hard bump, and then right under that, out to the side on both sides is your thyroid. It sits on your throat. We actually had a lady who works for us say, you know what, before today I had no idea that's where my thyroid was. I'm thinking, where's my thyroid? Where's my thyroid? So if you don't know, your thyroid does sit in your neck in the front kind of lower half of your throat and it is the master control <coughs> uh, gland for your basal metabolic rate. So what does that mean? That means your thyroid controls how your body makes hormone. It controls how you regulate glucose. It controls your body temperature and it also catalyzes and controls controls a lot of chemical reactions inside your body that allow for proper function and healing. So your thyroid does so much more than just mood and temperature and weight. It really has a lot to do with how vibrant you feel, how well you're healing, and the quality of life that you're experiencing. So I wanna teach you and go very in depth what things you need to look at to make sure you have proper thyroid function um, so that you don't have to suffer any longer, which most of the women who come into my office, that's exactly what's happening. They're suffering unnecessarily for what I call a lack of investigation. They've looked at some very minuscule markers, some very incomplete lab work, they've been told it's their thyroid, they've been put on medication, and then they're left there for five, 10, 15, 20 years with no other answers given. So I just want to encourage you, don't settle for that. There is a better answer, there's a better way, and I'm gonna teach you that over the next four weeks. Question number one. So let me go through the first four, all four questions with you. And then today we're really gonna talk the most about production and on our subsequent weeks, we're gonna talk about each of the other questions individually. So you can get a really good idea what you need to be looking for. So question number one is production. And that simply, does your thyroid physically make enough thyroid hormone? Does it make enough T4 and does it make enough T3? That's a production issue. Question number two, conversion. So T4 is your kind of storage hormone. It's the hormone made mostly by your thyroid, but it's the one that doesn't do a lot of the cellular or metabolic function. The hormone we really need that gives us all the wonderful things we think of from thyroid, like a healthy weight and lots of energy, that comes more from T3. So now when T4 is made in your thyroid, it has to convert to T3 other places in your body. So that is problem number two, and that's conversion. Is your body able to convert T4 to T3? Question number three is destruction. Is there damage at the thyroid that's causing it to work improperly? Now destruction, the most common thing I look at when it comes to destruction is an autoimmune condition like Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. Those types of things over time will cause physical destruction to your thyroid. And a lot of times those are also linked with more hypothyroid type symptoms is because that destruction can get so bad that your body's leaking out hormones and you're not building up enough storage hormone or hormone supply to allow it to function properly. So then not only do you have an immune system issue, but now you do have low hormone as well. So the primary thing I look for when it comes to destruction is, is there an underlying autoimmune condition that could be causing your thyroid thyroid not to work appropriately. 
And then question number four is where I really feel like the wellness way shines at taking care of thyroid issues, and that's called interference. So we use what's called the Swiss watch principle, and that means there is no organ, gland, cell, or muscle in your body that works independently of anything else in your body, which means if your thyroid is not working at 100%, it is not just affecting your thyroid. So we look at things like gut. Did you know that majority of your thyroid hormones Hormone is converted from T4 to T3 in your gut. So maybe it's not a thyroid issue. Maybe you have a gut issue that's not allowing your thyroid to work properly. Um, maybe it's an immune system issue. Maybe it's stress. Maybe it's your adrenals. Maybe it's any number of things. When we get to that week, I'm actually going to walk you through some different labs, some things we test for, and the most common pieces of interference I see when it comes to a poor functioning thyroid gland. So if you have a thyroid issue, if you are on thyroid medication, and you have not had a doctor test all four components that I just went over, production, conversion, destruction, and interference, you have not been pri properly diagnosed or properly managed for your thyroid issue. And now this is really why most people still feel crummy even on thyroid medication because the only thing that thyroid medication helps with is production. So that's what I wanna go over with you guys today. Question number one, production. Does your body physically make enough thyroid hormone? So again, we make our thyroid hormone up in our thyroid, right in that throat kind of area. The way we make thyroid hormone, so think about it, your thyroid hormone's called T3, T4, you do actually have a T1 and a T2, which are kind of building blocks for the other ones, but that T stands for tyrosine. So the backbone of all of our thyroid hormone is tyrosine. Now you get tyrosine from lots of different kind of nutritional places like meats and nuts and cheeses. So rarely do I really see a tyrosine deficiency. Most people have plenty of that going on. And if you don't, we can test for that and supplement, but that is more rare. But every single thyroid hormone in your body needs tyrosine as the backbone. And then what do we add to tyrosine? We add iodine. So those numbers beside the T, T3 is a tyrosine with three iodines. T4 is a tyrosine with four iodines. Follow me? So you need tyrosine, but you also need iodine. Now I'm going to tell you, if you have a straight production problem, your body is just not producing enough hormone, the number one reason for that is an iodine deficiency. Now, if you know anything about natural balance of thyroid, if you look up using thyroid or using iodine for thyroid, you're gonna find two very different camps of people. You're gonna find people who say, yes, absolutely, it's great for your thyroid. And then you're gonna have people who say, absolutely not, don't supplement with iodine, it's terrible for you. And I think that that happens because the people who say it's bad for you are still only looking at a very limited view of what's going on with the thyroid. So are there some circumstances where I wouldn't use iodine? Sure, plenty of them. But if it's a straight production issue, that's the number one cause of not only low hormone, but also goiters. If you're getting an enlargement in your thyroid, the number one reason that happens is an iodine deficiency. Your body is brilliant. It tries to get your attention to the area it wants you to pay attention to. So if you're deficient in iodine and you're not making enough thyroid hormone, doesn't it make sense that your body would enlarge and swell your thyroid so it could trap more iodine, so it could help you actually make more hormones? I mean, come on, our bodies are brilliant. We've just gotten so used to looking at stuff like that as defective, as something going wrong and something you need a medication for, instead of saying, hey, What's my body trying to tell me? It's drawing attention to my thyroid, it's getting bigger, maybe it's deficient in something. So supplementing with a really good quality of iodine is something that can help decrease goiter size, but can also help you just give you the building blocks to make your own thyroid hormone. So let me talk to you about what the medical approach is when you have a straight production problem. Now production, which again is only one of our four questions, is the main category that medical, the medical community will treat. That is the reason they test TSH and T4, which is typically the only two markers that they test, because they're testing for production. Those are also the only two markers that giving you a synthetic hormone like levothyroxine or Synthroid they will only change those two markers because those medications are the synthetic version of just T4. So their whole premise is if they give you enough T4, your TSH will come back into normal and your T4 levels will go up and boom, voila, your thyroid should be healed, right? 
Well, sure, if your only problem is production. But where I get very irritated with that system is they don't look at the other three questions. They don't know if just giving you a bunch of T4 is it able to convert to T3? Is it converting to the more dangerous reverse T3 that could be making you feel even worse? Um, is it contributing to an autoimmune condition and you're just throwing a bunch of hormones at an immune system issue that's not making it any better? Or are you completely neglecting the other interfering factors that are probably making your thyroid not work well and you're masking that with just synthetic hormones? So that's problem number one. Problem number two, when they see that you don't make enough thyroid hormone, do they ever even test you to see if maybe you're just deficient in some of the building blocks? Do they test you to see if you're deficient in iodine? Do they test you to see if you're deficient in tyrosine? They never test that. The first thing they want to do is give you synthetic medication when easily that could have been replicated using very safe and very natural herbs, minerals, and supplements. So they jump too many steps too quickly before even knowing what's really going on in that thyroid. And that's why you might be sitting there on medications, changing doses all the time, and still feeling crummy, wondering why you don't have your energy back and the weight didn't fall off yet because maybe production wasn't your problem. Now on the flip side, if you're the person who your primary problem was a production issue and physically your thyroid just wasn't making enough hormone, that's the person who gets on Synthroid and feels like it changes their life. Within a couple of days, they're back to their old self, they're loving life and everything's going great. That's the person whose issue was production. Now remember, you can replicate that without medication, but that's the situation and that's especially in the medical community, the only thyroid problem they address is question number one, and that's production. So let me teach you on a thyroid lab what it would look like if you truly had just a across the board production problem. So the classic thing you're gonna see if your problem is production is a high TSH, because TSH and thyroid function actually work in the inverse relationship. So the higher your TSH is, the less well your thyroid is functioning. So if you have a production issue, you're going to have high TSH and you're gonna have low T4. Now typically those are the only two markers that your medical doctor will test and you're lucky if you even got a T4 marker. A lot of times it's just TSH. But if they were to look a little bit farther, what that also could look like is either low or maybe normal T3. So if it's a straight production issue, you're gonna have high TSH, you're gonna have low T4, and you're gonna have low or possibly normal T3. Because remember, just because your body might not be making enough hormone, it still might be converting it really well to T3 other places in your body. So looking at those three factors will let you know if this is a production problem. Now if you have high TSH, low T4, and low T3, well now we're definitely looking at more of a conversion issue. We'll go over that next week. Um, if there's more markers that we test, I mean our thyroid lab is much more than just those two basic markers, so we look at all of that function. So we have to piece other things together as well, but for what you might be looking at at labs you currently have, what you're looking for is high TSH, low T4, and either low or normal T3 would be a production type of an issue. And that is the most common thing that you're gonna get diagnosed with or that they're gonna use medicine to help really balance that. Now, there might be people out there who are on a more natural type of thyroid medication, like the Armour Thyroid or the Nature Thyroid. The difference with those, or maybe use a compounding pharmacy, those are getting much more popular now as well, the difference with those and why they are considered a better option is they are less synthetic, but they also have T4 and T3 in them. So instead of just giving your body a bunch of T4 and expecting it to convert and know what to do, they go the extra little step and they also give you some T3. So although that is better and is helping maybe answer question one and two, it's still not looking at question three and four. So if you are dependent on a medication for any reason, you haven't looked deep enough to see why your physiology isn't working the way that you want it to. And um, I say this all the time, but there are two circumstances that I feel like somebody truly needs to be on thyroid medication, and that's if you've had your thyroid removed or if you've had your thyroid irradiated. In those two situations, you probably do need some type of medication, either natural or synthetic, but that still only answers question number one. So if that's your problem, removing a thyroid has stopped your thyroid production. But if you're on synthetic or even natural thyroid hormone, you still need to make sure your own physical body is able to do conversion 
that you don't have destruction elsewhere and that there's no interference so that that medication can even get to the cells and get absorbed and make sure that you're functioning at 100%. So if that's you, you are not exempt from the next three weeks of teaching because this production piece is the only piece that's different for you. Everything else we're gonna talk about will be the exact same because it's about how your body uses those hormones to give you health and healing. So today we covered quite a bit of information and that's just question number one. And really it's the simplest and most basic of all the questions. As the weeks go on, we're gonna get more in depth and you're gonna learn a lot about your anatomy and your physiology and what it's really gonna to take to balance that thyroid and get your health and get your energy and get your life back. So if you suffer with any type of thyroid issues, follow me on Instagram, it's at Dr. Shannon Pierce. And every Thursday I do my Thyroid Thursdays. So follow the hashtag Thyroid Thursday on my Instagram page and I'll give you lots of very up-to-date, awesome information to help you balance your thyroid naturally. Thank you